Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a little bit more about Object to Path. I had somebody send me a file and they were having trouble, and I think Object to Path started in 2018, Corel. Uh, you can do a lot of this in any version, but Corel's made it a lot easier with Object to Path. And the problem they're having with it, they're, they told me they select that, select that, and then go to apply. Well, that's what happens you need to select your object first and then select your path and then hit apply. You can, in most cases, just select both of them and hit apply. It, somehow it knows what which one's what. But also, if you look, I've got them setting on the top of my path because I have them, my object origin is in the top. Let's back up here and put them on the that part, select them all and hit apply. Now they're on the bottom of the path. Normally you would want them right on the center of the path. So uh, make that the center and hit apply. And now it'll be right down the center. And it's pretty neat because it, it goes along the full path. You don't have, I mean, it's uh, much better than blend. And one thing you can kind of think about, and we did this video the other day on if you go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and you find out how long this curve is, it is 17.43. Tell you what, let's make it a little bit longer. Try to get it near 18. And we can do that right here. But it's going to be bigger because it's, it's a curved line. So let's back it up a little bit. So we're really close to... And you could probably change your percentage to 103%. And we're really close. Let's go 103.5. So we're at 18.01. This is a, let's make it a half inch circle with our ratio lock. We'll make this 0.5. And our, our line was 18. So we select this all, go object to path, and we want one every inch. So we're gonna pick 18. And now those objects are an inch apart. Let's just kind of measure that to see if we're true. Go from the center to the center and we're one inch apart. So this could be very useful to me, it's a little bit quicker sometimes in uh, the blend tool because uh, you could do other things. So under object, object to path is a docker. There's a lot you can do with it. I mean, um, uniform spacing, center rotation. Uh, that would be if you had a star or something. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.